when we met Sam, he was such a shy, unhappy little boy. You know, you could tell that he had had a very, very hard life. My child, Kara, she's had a complicated life at a very young age. She was uh, put out for prostitution by her mother. You're with a young person who has no level of trust with anybody. They've been disappointed in their lives by so many adults so often. I remember very vividly my trip to court for the first time to shadow a CASA staff member. And we watched in the hallway a mother down on her knees bawling, hugging her three or four year old little boy, just sobbing with him saying, I love you, I will always love you, they're taking you away from me. And I broke down and started crying in the hallway. The child's lawyer walked up to us and said, don't cry for her. That child just got out of the hospital because his mother beat him so bad that he needed medical attention and he was in the hospital for over a week. It's inspiring to know that there are people and systems in place to help that child get to a safe place. Some of the most challenging aspects of being a CASA are gaining the level of trust with my young person. Kara's life experience is completely different than any children that I know. Her mom died about six years ago. Her dad's a paranoid schizophrenic. She had been living with her grandmother, who then also became unable to care for her. And so that's how she got into the foster care system. When we would see Sam, he was much warmer, much, much more able to talk to us. But as soon as one of the foster parents walked in the room, he changed. We were there to help make the adoption happen. And the more we got to know the children, the more we got to know the family, the more we realized that an adoption could have ended in tragedy. The volunteer training was lengthy and intensive, but it was very interesting. I really enjoy going to see the children's schools, seeing how they are in the classroom, how they interact with the other kids, and advocating for them to the teacher, just as I would for my own kids.